Okay, there is absolutely nothing in the world that makes me happier than driving around on a beautiful summer sunshiny day with my hair blowing in the wind in a convertible. And nothing else really makes me happier than saying that I am driving the 2017 Mazda MX-5 RF or retractable fastback. Now, if you guys have been following me on wheels.ca and driving television over the last 10 years or so, you'll know that this is one of my all-time favorite cars. People always say to me, what about BMW, Audi, Porsche? Don't get me wrong, those manufacturers do have some great roadsters, but what Mazda has managed to create is a little roadster that has been around for a very long time because it delivers a balanced drive, it's got super precise steering, and it feels solid, neutral, and very planted in corners in all different kinds of driving conditions for a price tag of around $40,000. In fact, this RF top of the line GT trim is only gonna set you back about $44,000. And those other brands I mentioned before, the premium brands, the reason that they can't compete with this is because of the price tag. Now, years ago, you might remember the Solstice in the sky, but again, they just couldn't figure out what it was that has made Mazda so successful, and they're not around anymore. The Fiat, uh, Fiat's come out with the 124 Spider, and I have to be honest, it is a pretty close comparison to the Mazda Miata. It shares the same platform, but it does have a turbo four cylinder. Now, this uh, Mazda has the 16 valve, two liter four cylinder, no turbo. So I actually was expecting to enjoy the Fiat a little bit more, but there is a little bit of turbo lag and really Mazda has just figured out how to create this incredible vehicle and I don't know, nothing just seems to be able to be quite like it. If you are in the market though, definitely go look up the Fiat because it was a lot of fun to drive. When people saw it and talked to me about it, their biggest feedback was it's it's not a Miata. And this car's been around for a long time and I know there's gonna be a big market out there for people who want a Roadster but don't want a Miata, which is okay. I love the retractable fastback for a couple of reasons. One, with the top up, this car almost looks better. Number two, the interior is so quiet when the top is up. Now I know it is a different market for people wanting a soft top versus the hard top, but this is the way I would go because it does provide a much easier, quieter space to have a conversation. and. It's really cool how the the top actually goes up and down. It just comes apart into three separate pieces. And in less than 13 seconds, if the vehicle is going under 10 kilometers an hour, you can either, with the push of the button, put the top up or put the top down. Mazda, I will no longer be calling it a Miata because when I look at this, I don't see something cute anymore. When I look at this vehicle, I now see this sexy, aggressive looking roadster and I freaking love it.